Well, the contenders for the prestigious British Film and Television Awards have been announced. Hollywood musical La La Land leads the pack with 11 nominations, including Best Hi, Film. Its stars Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone have both been nominated in the Best Actor and Actress categories. Now, Miriam Francois can join us live from London with more. Hi, Miriam. Okay, so we've got La La Land. Tell us uh, about some of the other favorites uh, for this year's BAFTAs. Well, of course, award season is upon us, and the BAFTAs, of course, is the UK equivalent, if you like, of the Oscars. Now, we saw, of course, last week that La La Land swept the floor at the Golden Globes. It picked up all seven of the awards that it was nominated for, and now it's nominated for 11 awards at the BAFTAs. But it does have some strong competition. It should be pointed out. Amy Adams' film Alien is nominated for nine awards. Um, and there is a British film that it should keep a close eye on, Certainly, um, these are the British um, awards, and there is uh, one institution there, uh, the director Ken Loach, whose film uh, I, Daniel Blake, is um, a story about a, a gritty uh, welfare, a welfare, a British welfare system story. So it's a sort of gritty drama, which is something uh, Ken Loach is known for. So certainly uh, one to keep an eye on. Uh, it should be pointed out that there, there were some snubs also at this year's uh, awards, um, Martin Scorsese being one of them. He himself used to picking up some awards but his film Silence wasn't nominated for any uh, and Sully which is uh, Clint Eastwood's big film about the uh, emergency landing on the Hudson River which some of you might remember um, didn't pick up any nominations either. Huh. And now it, aside from the obvious you know congratulations of winning what are the other benefits of a BAFTA award? Well, of course, we know that um, film, uh, those who are advertising for films tend to like to put up these awards on their posters, and there's a reason for that. Of course, it adds to the kudos of the film, but there are some other more financial reasons why they put down that information. Now, we... Um, not uh, specifically the uh, Golden Globes or the BAFTAs, but awards in general add a huge boost to the earnings of actors and to films in general. So we can expect, for example, a male actor, and it should be specified that this is specific to male actors, can see uh, an uh, up to 80% boost of their salary. It's not quite so significant for female actors, and I think many of them have been pointing out that disparity for a while now. But it also tends to mean a greater lifespan for films in the box office. Being nominated, winning an award uh, tends to mean you'll be around for a lot longer. There's a lot more hype about your film and that means more money at the box office. Miriam Francois, we'll leave it there. Thanks so much for that from London.